Hello guys and welcome to the channel. <clears throat> I am Marv. This is Read is by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be number two. Um, the second energy read of the month of February 2024. And this is going to be for the beautiful sign of Pisces. Pisces, um, you have moved up on um, the order because you now have a breakout channel. You will now be after Capricorn. I do that on purpose. Thank you so much. You have uh, earned your own channel. Please go over and support your channel. I did that for you guys. Your number two video is available on that channel uh, for the Marvelous Pisces Tribe. And now this is going to be your uh, Pisces um, video for this channel. Let's get started. So everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. If you're interested in looking it up and you are, um, you don't want to go inside of the description box or the pent comment and get the link, just go in the search bar and type in Marvelous Pisces Tribe while you're over there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is for Pisces. We went ahead and I got, took the liberty of pre-shuffling your Oracle card and Pisces, you've got the card of coins. The key word is good luck. The numeric energy is 10. There is a completion because that's normally what I associate that with, but you do got good luck. Let's go into what this energy is. So for some of you guys, there is a lucky streak that are approaching. Opportunities um, will come to you, Pisces Collective, out of the blue. And the spirit world is saying hello. What I want you to remember is that the possibilities are endless when you get this card and anything that once seemed improbable can happen in this moment, Pisces Collective. This luck can manifest in many ways, including beautiful coincidences. You may meet somebody who has uh, the contacts that you've been looking for or even receive a prize or a monetary gift. Coins are also messages from the spirit world and seeing them is a sign from a spirit ancestor that luck is on your side. So this is not a bad card to get. Let's go ahead and get into this. What does 10 mean to you or what does half of that mean? This is for Pisces. Thank you. And you're going to need that luck because we are leading this energy with the tower. Ah, there we go. The wheel of fortune and the nine of cups. Pisces Collective, you guys are definitely on the verge of uh, receiving a wish, but let's go ahead. Now, when we're leading with a tower, that means that there was a powerful ending that took place that you didn't see coming. It could have came out of the blue, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the tower, that something broke down. It Well, it definitely means something broke down, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it was a tower that you didn't want. Um, and I coined this phrase, the welcome tower, because sometimes we need things to happen. And unfortunately, when those things happen, we don't know how to make the tower come. We, we know that we don't like it. We know that the circumstances are uncomfortable, but we just don't know how to stop it ourselves. It's like a moving train. So I feel like for some of you, this was a welcome tower for you. You wanted this to happen, okay? Others of you, of course, whatever this was, you did not want it to end. Um, it, and it could have came out of the blue and took you by surprise. So there's two sides of that. When I look at the Wheel of Fortune, um, this is why I say that some of you guys know that you were uncomfortable and you wanted this to end, although you really loved whatever it was or you were attached to it. Um, why I say that is because the Wheel of Fortune is in the heart place. So the Wheel of Fortune talks about the, the wheel turning and you know that the wheel of goodness, the, the, the goodness was not going to be back into your life or into your energy until this came crashing down. You can't have both. You have to allow something to end before something else begins. And that's just the way it goes. So the will came and it's the will of fortune. Once the will turned, everything that was on or a part of that tower, once it turned, fell off. And now we're on a brand new something. Okay. And according to 
um, your, your Oracle card that kind of ties in is good luck. So you had everything, um, you know, at your fingertips at that point, and you were able to, you know, uncomfortably allow goodness to come back. It's one of those things where you didn't know it was good until it happened. And a lot of times that's how it happens for us. We hold on to things and we hold on to things, but then when we lose it, when it's snatched away from us, that should be definitely the end of it, the, 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 the message to you at that point. Okay. That this was supposed to happen. If that makes sense. Sorry about that guys. That should have been the message or the confirmation. All right. This is supposed to happen. Okay. Then we have a nine of cups. This was something again, this is why I'm saying you guys want it this to happen you just maybe didn't know because by all of this taking place you ended up getting what you have been wishing for anyway and maybe you just didn't see this path collective maybe you couldn't see how you could lose something to gain something but lovelies that's exactly how how it happens that's exactly how it happens when we least expect it we never know how it's gonna go it always kind of works out this way where you're holding on and hoping and wishing and praying for something to stay the same. And then once you lose it, you either gain a new perspective and want it back or you accept that you lost it and move on and something better comes along. In the past, we do have the King of Pentacles and present energy, we do have the devil. So a lot of, a lot of what this is, and I'm actually, I got a clarifying deck because I want to know you ended up losing something and that could have been the best blessing for you because in its place came something that was better for you. For some of you guys, this was another job. Um, if you are a business owner, then this is another opportunity. Uh, for some of you guys, if this was a relationship, then you lost one and you gained a, a, a much better one in its stead. Um, but whatever it was, it was the wish you never knew you had. It was it. And for some of you guys, you did, but it was the wish you never knew you had. It's like it just came out. This devil, though, is letting me know that you played a part in this. And I think that the big downfall here of the tower is your refusal to let go. It was your refusal to let go of it, Pisces. But I think that this works. Clarify the tower and the devil. I think that you definitely play a part of this uh, because that devil is exactly the things that we hold on to and, and, and the behaviors that go along with, you know, not being conducive, not being um, conducive to success because it's all of these things that you, you, you could have contributed to it. You felt like you were attached to whatever this is. For some of you guys, this was a relationship and you're chained to this. But once the tower came, it kind of woke you up. That's exactly what you needed. Aha, uh -huh. it is for some of you guys, a relationship. So you have all of the, the tools in your arsenal to manifest what you wanted. And I think that you were holding on to this, but you were manifesting better. Sometimes when we are manifesting better in a person, a new person comes in. And I think that's what happened for some of you. You are manifesting this person to do better because you did not want to let go of them. And what ended up happening was that you ended up getting something brand new. For others of you, this is, yeah, I'm looking at a two of cups. I'm looking at a hermit. There was a situation where you guys separated. I believe that was the best thing for you. You were holding on to this and you did not want to let it go. As a result, you got, once that negative energy left your life, you got the, the, the luck you needed. Opportunities started happening for you. Other things came in. That's what happens, guys. That's what happens. And I know that my, uh, my Neptunians, you guys are probably the ones that, that, you know, hold on. You're not the only one but you're definitely one of the ones that will hold on to one thing and not look at the bigger picture sometimes or hold on 
to something because you have bonded over little things or you go into this and you want to save the world or you want to save the person. All of these things that make you beautiful, but cause detriment when you're applying that beautiful energy to not not beautiful to ugly people, places and things. And that's what you do. It's like you go after the ugly and you're not trying to. You just want to fix things and you you love. And that's the reason why you guys uh, have a knack of picking all of the wrong people. That's where that came from. If this is a relationship for you, there is money. There is a bond. I'm looking at a page of swords. It looks like the devil is being clarified by a page of swords. It was always not the best communication. Always taking two steps forward and having to come one step back. The biggest thing that caused the downfall of this as a relationship uh, for you guys was the communication between you and this person. The um, King of Pentacles being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So this is the luck. Good luck with whatever, but this is also the past. Maybe you associated you know, the success of this relationship with this person, it was very relative to your success. All right. But you did the hard work. The nine of cups being clarified by the two, the wheel of fortune by the hermit and the tower by the magician. This is all telling the exact same story that I've said. You had to basically be forced into a tower in order to not only realize your worth, but I think that there was some space between you and this individual if this was a relationship. And as a result, you got what you wished. Maybe this person has come around and realized how much you meant to them. Either way, this is a deep spiritual connection. For others of you, this is you had to let go of one way of doing something in a nutshell. And once that was once you were forced to do that, the, the goodness came in. You got what you wished. And you got what you deserved. So what remains is the tower, the will of fortune, and the devil and the main energy. And when I clarified it, we got the magician and the hermit, which set up why you were where you were. This is a beautiful energy, Pisces. Wow. I think that by losing everything, you gain so much more than you can ever imagine. That's what ended up happening. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below. In the description box for you and your collective, make sure you go to your channel, Marvelous Pisces Tribe, to watch the this the number two message on the channel. See you in number three. Bye, guys.